Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, D2 here. Got a relatively short topic today, talking about luminance and increasing detail in your astrophotography by incorporating synthetic luminance. Examples here, I have a Leo triplet shot with my GT81 and I have all the RGB frames stacked, ready to go. I also have the original luminance I shot at the same time. I want to show the difference between three different types of luminance channels. So the first one is if you don't have luminance, you didn't shoot luminance, all you did was shoot RGB. So the way you can create what we'll call the synthetic luminance from RGB is to use image integration. I'm normally I'm using SignalWay here. But you want to change that to SNR. Then you want to add your RGB files. Let's just assume I didn't have luminous. I need to create one. And then you would run that integration. Everything else is default. So I've already run that. So let's assume I did. I produced this file. So now I have a luminous that I can manipulate and it has the full signal of these three channels combined. Some people take their RGB image and pull the lightness out afterwards. That's another technique you could use. I'm not sure how the signals compare, but this, this is probably the best practice. So we're gonna set that aside and we're gonna look at the qualities of these later. Second one assumes that you shot luminance for the night and stacked it. So that's, that's this second luminance here, which I will call it secondary quality. First one's gonna be lower quality than this. And then the third assumes you take your luminance and combine it with your RGB signal. That'll, this will give you the most signal because RGB combined really is luminance if you use the same amount of subs. So in that case, you would take image integration again and you would add all RGB plus luminance. And you run the same process. SNR would be your weights and then hit the global process button down here. Now I've run that one as well, so we won't waste everyone's time with that. And that produced what I'm calling, and I renamed it synthetic luminance, synth L. So this is gonna be the highest quality luminance channel of the three ways that we just looked at because it has the most signal in it. So now I'm gonna compare an RGB luminance with a regular limit. So here's RGB. And I don't know how well this will come across on YouTube. And this is the regular limits. You can see there's definitely less noise. And in this day and age with all the AI technologies, some of this matters less because it'll process out noise pretty effectively. But if you want to as maximize your signal, obviously you want to shoot luminance if you can. If you don't have luminance, you want to make one from your RGB because you can take that channel and modify it to be the best for detail without affecting your color and then process your color into separate, separate processes. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to compare the synthetic luminance to each of these. Synthetic luminance versus the RGB synthetic luminance, obviously better. Not sure how well that's gonna come across on YouTube, but way better. Now let's get the luminance out, the regular luminance compared to the synthetic. I and mean, there's still a, in my, my screen there's still a significant improvement in quality and it's gaining gaining me all the signal from the entire shoot into my luminous channel Let me zoom in a little bit more here might be able to see a little better if you drag the tab onto the other tab it'll set the scale to be the same in each I'm not sure how well that's coming across but it's definitely much better and in my case the the rgb channels there aren't as many subs in there as there are in my luminous the more subs you have for your rgb the more effect this is going to have but in general utilize all your signal when you're preparing your luminance get the most out of it one more bonus feature i want to cover 
is if you want to match your signal level of your original luminance channel what you can do is take linear fit and this is recommended load your luminance in as the reference image and drag that onto your synthetic luminance now these are of the same signal level you can see the multiplier here when i did the linear fit it adjusted it by 2.1 to get it to the same quality of the original luminance so that's what i wanted to hit today hope this is helpful for any of you trying to squeeze a little bit more quality out of your astrophotography processing until next time thanks for watching clear skies take care